In this episode of Sailing Nanji, it's Christmas time in the Solomons. We visit a village, explore the Florida islands, and trade with the locals. We are in Honiara. It's the capital city of the Solomon Islands. Uh, there's lots of reports, <laughs> bad reports of this place, uh, but we haven't had any trouble yet. Let's uh, go and walk down this dodgy alley. Dealing with the Christmas rush, we set off finding supplies and preparing for our departure. In the Solomon Islands, most rural families live on a day-to-day -day basis, growing produce and hunting fish. The surrounding provinces of Honiara bring produce to the market in banana boats to sell for a small amount of money. All food is organically grown and the variety is based on the season. Completing our final video for 2017, we decided to treat ourselves for dinner and a beer at the Honiara Yacht Club. I mistakenly told the waitress that I sing very similar to Celine Dion, and before you know it, Benita had signed me up for a belter. When the microphone was handed to me, I had two options. I could either say no and look silly, or I could put on a show for the Solomons. You got a stinking morning press, man. I went to the market yesterday and got some fresh produce. I'm just making some breakfast. First time we've had an avocado in months. Uh, but uh, we've got the uh, world's smallest capsicums. <laughs> the water in Honiara is not very clean and he's uh, every day he tries to go swimming in it and it's not very nice so I'm just gonna keep him washing him. Give him a scrub. <laughs> Alright. With a freshly cleaned Mali and a boat full of food, we left Honiara astern and headed 30 nautical miles across to the Florida Islands for some Christmas fun. Oh! Getting used to sailing again, mate. Tough life sailing, isn't it, Marley? Oi! Oi! The old wind has totally disappeared. I think we've had to change plans. We're not going to get to the little island near Tulagi where we wanted to. I think we just got to get straight to the closest piece of land. There's a little island there that looks pretty cool, though, so we'll aim for that but it's still seven miles off it's three o'clock in the afternoon and we're sailing at two knots with seven nautical miles to go hopefully we get there before the sun goes down at seven o'clock
dropping the anchor just before dark, it was a good feeling to be away from the city and exploring once more. Christmas in the Solomons. You can see all these little heads in the forest. They're all just sitting there looking at you. <laughs> Hello! Merry Christmas, everyone! We were greeted first thing Christmas Day by Frank, the chief of the small village we anchored in front of, who then invited us ashore. The Solomon Islands was the battlegrounds of World War II, where the US defended the invasion of the Pacific from the Japanese. Is this American? Mm -hmm. This is American, yeah. yeah. The remnants of World War II are scattered all throughout the Solomon Islands, and Frank and his family had a collection of artifacts they found around the village. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Like the head of a torpedo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Scary. 1917. Wow. <laughs> like an American bayonet. Put that on the rifle. It's crazy. This joint's going to uncover a lot of crazy war stuff, I think. Very careful. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Well, because we don't have the money like we used to. So you used to exchange shells and yeah, so we jewelry. Use, yeah. Oh, yeah. Two ways. Yeah. Sometimes we uh, pay, uh, buy girl, uh, pay, uh, girls yeah. when they got married. Oh, yeah. Sometimes uh -huh. we used to pay land if we used to just follow our custom, our culture. The Solomon's traditional currency was shell money. Long strings of shells were used to purchase brides, land, pigs, canoes, to settle disputes and worn at ceremonies. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is Frank. Yeah. And uh, what's the name of your village? Uh, Tananiile. Uh, Tananiile. Tananiile. Yes, thank you very much. Merry Christmas from the Army Santa! <laughs> nice neck beard! <laughs> Can grow neck beard! Can grow neck beard. This is what I look like when I'm 70. Something similar. What are you doing today on Chrissy? Uh, we've just visited the little village where we anchored out front of last night. And they were really nice. They had a few World War II relics and stuff like that, and they showed us around. And it was a really nice, a really nice, neat little place that they had going on. And we've just picked up anchor, and now we're just cruising. Nice and dead flat, calm, gentle seven knots up behind us. Head sail out. We're just cruising down in this little island. Yeah, it's some real good diving there on our own little islands. There's no villages and so on these little islands, so Marley can just cut sick. So yeah, it's about Marley today, isn't it? He's having a Marley day. It's all about him getting a good run around. He's just been walking on the lead everywhere because everyone's so scared of him. So it'd be really good to uh, to let him cut sick for a bit. I had read about an old concrete wharf from World War II and thought we may be able to dock alongside it. All the kids are saying, come here, come here, come here. After a quick evaluation and nowhere near enough fenders to protect Nanji from the rundown pier, we opted the safest option and anchored in the bay. I was running away, it was all white, I couldn't see you. But I had the camera under my beard. You look a bit confident on there again, Marley man. Hey Bob! Catch! Hey Bob! Pass me a bear! <laughs> Too much to eat and drink today, eh mate? You're all a bit pooped out, eh? What are you doing today? Um, picnic. Picnic? Ah, oh, yes, for Christmas? Yeah. Oh, very nice. On the island over here?
As a lot of the villages are remote, trading and exchanging of goods is common with the many visiting canoes. Throughout the day, people paddle from their village offering fresh produce to trade for things like fabric, hooks, school supplies, dive masks, machetes, fishing line, rice, milk powder, batteries, clothes, anything they may need. It's pretty good, you just got to anchor in the right spot and crew come out and we can just trade with them and get food, we don't need to go to town. So we've got a heap of tomatoes and a cucumber. Let's trade with a few hooks. We're happy, they're happy, that's all that matters. <laughs> How many can we get on the sub? <laughs> we got four. Four. Hands off, hands, hands off. Hands off the boat. Hands, oh. off. hands oh. off. Hands oh. up. Hands oh. up. Both hands up. Oh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> He's going on down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Getting on there. <laughs> oh, he's bailing the boat. He's all in. Classic. Oh. That's another episode of Selling the Angie. I'm pretty sure Yosh is not going to be bragging about his singing skills anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't reckon Sony's coming with a contract offer anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've been having a pretty good time in the Solomons. Trading with the locals is awesome. Yeah, you can uh, stay at like a place for a few weeks and not have to return to civilization for fresh produce. Uh, it gets delivered right to your doorstep. Yeah, as long as you're not fussy, it's all good. You just whatever comes, you just have a little trade, some hooks or some fishing line. You know, like, it worked out really good. It, it means you can stay away from the city and town for much longer. It's awesome. This video is brought to you by our patrons. Uh, we were able to get another laptop this month, so thank you guys so much. So there's two people, two computers. That's Look going out. to double the work. Look out. <laughs> <laughs> Big thank you to our newest patrons. We have Alan, Martin, Chris and Patty, Robert, Francie, Bono, Jamie and Cor. Also, Rooney C123. Nikki and Joe. And uh, thanks to Matt G for upping your pledge. Legend. Awesome. Thanks guys, thanks for joining the Nancy family. Yeah, you guys make these videos possible. Keep us floating and moving forward. Really appreciate it. Thanks yeah. guys. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. There's plenty more where that's coming from. Thanks legends. See you guys. Catch ya. Coming up next on Sailing Nanji, we nervously removed Nanji's shaft in water for repairs and raft up with two other vessels in the stunning Tokyo Bay.